What's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the first documentary we made as Platinum Peak four years ago, and it's called OKG, and it's about the Oakdale High sports culture. If you're a part of the community in Oakdale and you saw this film when it first dropped, make sure to like and subscribe below and continue to follow us on our future endeavors. So when Soren and I got back into filmmaking, we wanted to start making films. And so we started thinking, um, what if we did something about our hometown of Oakdale? Um, it's a pretty unique town, if you've never heard of it. It's the cowboy capital of the world. And then we started brainstorming a little bit more, and we were like, why don't we do something about the uh, high school football team? Because in Oakdale, um, the high school football team, you know, that's like, uh, everyone goes to the games. It's a lot like Friday Night Lights, the movie or the TV series, if you're familiar with it. But we thought it would be really cool to you know, showcase not just the football team, but the community that surrounds the football team. Because that's one thing about Oakdale is that um, they're very community driven. It's not about the individual, it's about the team. Yeah, I remember waking up really early to go get these shots. Um, kind of worried about flying the drone in Oakdale, to be honest, because we hadn't done it at that time. And we grew up in Oakdale, so we were very familiar with it. We've lived there basically our whole lives. And so we were pretty familiar with how everything worked, the dynamics of the sports culture at Oakdale. So long story short, I reached out to Coach Merzon, who's been the head football coach for, gosh, I want to say close to 20 years, if not more. He was very interested, um, so we met, and we kind of got the ball rolling from there. It's crazy to look back and see how we would interview people, because in, when we first started doing this, we didn't really know how to set up lighting properly to get a really high quality interview. In order to tell the story about the town, we used the football team. So the football team was kind of like the tool that we used to really tell a story about the cultural values of Oakdale. Grit was one thing and hard work um, was another thing that we really wanted to touch on uh, because a lot of people in Oakdale, they are blue collar workers. They work very hard. So we really wanted to show that. We wanted to show how that um, plays into the athletic culture as well. Since taking these shots of uh, the cowboy statue by the H Bar B, we've actually been back there like three or four times to get really similar shots for different projects we've been working on. Oakdale football is a lot more than a game to a lot of people. It's taken very seriously, and it's the type of culture where generations come back time and time again. Um, I was a fourth generation uh, student at Oakdale High School. Um, a lot of my friends who went to Oakdale High with me, their parents went to Oakdale High, and their parents went to Oakdale High. One thing that's really noticeable about our work from back then compared to now is that we were using several different types of cameras. You can tell if you're really looking, there was a difference with the cameras that we were using. So we started off um, filming morning workouts, and I remember morning workouts, they were brutal. Uh, they started at like 6.30, it was cold. Um, so being back in that environment really reminded me of that feeling. You'll see oftentimes in this video, when there's a moving shot, it looks really smooth and stable. Um, we were using a gimbal um, that our camera was attached to and we could run with it, jump with it. We hung it out of the truck a few times to get some shots of the scenes in Oakdale. We followed them on campus a few times, which was fun. Um, I'm sure they felt like mini celebrities, you know. It was really cool to show up to campus and film these guys while they were going to school. You know, when you have a camera on you, you feel like a superstar. Um, so we went to a lot of their practices. I remember those days were really hot. We shot it during the dead of summer, during preseason. And just being on the campus again, man, it reminded me a lot of being in high school. It brought me back and it was just kind of a cool experience to be able to um, give back to my school in a way, you know, because I grew a lot at that school, I learned a lot. This is our first attempt at making a documentary. Um, we just went after it and went day by day trying to get as much B-roll and coverage as possible and put something, put something together uh, in post-production at the very end. Yeah, those weight room shots, I remember being in there and just telling myself like, oh my gosh, there is no light. Our cameras are gonna be so fried. 
We bumped the ISO up really high and just tried to get as much light in there as possible. We actually didn't even go to any league games. We went to, uh, I believe, three preseason games and one scrimmage, um, if I remember correctly. We interviewed like eight or nine kids. Uh, thinking back on it now, I wish I would have reached out to the kids a lot earlier and kind of groomed them a little bit more, prepped them better because it was very run and gun in a sense. Like I would just ask Coach Merzon, Merzon, you know, give me someone, give me someone to interview. And uh, looking back on it now, I wish we could have taken more time because um, we would have got more out of the kids that way. See right there, um, that was actually our cousin Will running really fast and I was running parallel to him with the gimbal chasing him, trying to stay even with him to get that shot. And then we interviewed uh, four coaches, yeah, four coaches who really embodied kind of the Oakdale spirit. All the people we interviewed were students at Oakdale themselves. I'm just sitting here looking at all the things that I would go back and change now, knowing what I know now that we didn't know when we first started using more expensive cameras. Uh, like white balance was in and out of perfection around the whole video. Um, there were shots that were overexposed. We were trying different picture profiles through the whole video. Some shots came out really clean, like this interview here with Malone. And part of the reason why we did this, you know, being filmmakers is naturally we want people to see our films, right? So we knew going into this that the Oakdale community would rally around it. I remember me and Soren, we had a few kids who came up to us and they asked for our autographs, which is a cool thing for us. I remember there were t-shirts made that had OKG on it. I, there were hats made that had OKG on it. So after this thing was finished and released, it really did kind of start a little movement in Oakdale. So when they were riding up on the bus to the Snorer game, we drove up ahead of them and we pulled over and we were waiting for them to come by. And we really only had this really small window of time that the bus would come right past where we were parked and we would be able to get a drone shot. And we just happened to catch the bus at a perfect time. So yeah, when we first dropped the video, I remember literally within like a few hours, there was already, I think, 5,000 views. Um, it really got around the community very quickly. Uh, Coach Merzon was telling me he was getting calls from his friends all over the country. Um, somehow the video was really getting around. You know, as I was referring to, the exposures and the white balance and the colors being a little thrown off, that was a really good example. When, when the quarterback club had their meeting at the H-Bar-B, things were really yellow. And what's even more cool about the whole story was that season, Oakdale High went on to win state. And that was the first time that they had ever won state as a team. This is one of my favorite shots. I remember the guys walking out for the coin toss and following them with the gimbal, the stabilizer that kept the footage really stable. I see it again here as the running backs running up the middle and we, we were able to get some really smooth shots. You know, we kind of told the story for them and then they went out and fulfilled it. I definitely think that, in a way, the documentary motivated these kids um, because we kind of put them on pedestals, in a way, and I'm sure they all wanted to live up to that.